everybody, welcome to Polly's Crochet Creations. I'm Tori, your hostess. <coughs> I apologize, I've got a little bit of a funky thing happening with my throat. Um, I just wanted to get on and I wanted to tell you off a little bit. Um, and no, I'm not going to tell you off. What I mean is, <laughs> off means objects finally finished for me. Um, I have been working on probably four, five, six different ob six different objects. Um, so I wanted to pop on and show you what I'm working on, what I finished, and <clears throat> just touch base. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, I'm going to take a sip of water. One I one object I can't show you because I'm not done yet yet. Um, the ones that I can show you are the ones that I finished. Now, a friend of mine had asked me if I could make some of my uh, lovies with capes. Um, I wanted to do specific ones, and <clears throat> this is what I have come up with. So, this is the first lovey with the cape. Um, this is the pterodactyl. And I have used um, the Soft Secret in the colorway Whisper, Whisper um, which was gifted to me by the lovely Lori from the States. Um, the purple is the uh, Loops and Threads Soft and Shiny. And... The pterodactyl I picked up myself. Um, I picked it. I usually wait until um, Shoppers Drug Mart after specific seasons, like for example Easter, Valentine's. After those seasons are done, I usually pick these uh, up for like five dollars. So I wait for the sales. I pick them up and then I crochet capes because um, I do a cape, uh, bag of day crochet cape, easy V stitch. Um, shawl that uh, Crystal from Bago Day Crochet had done. Well, I made a miniature version because I wanted to see if I could actually do it. Um, I haven't done a few of those in a while, which I should actually get back into doing them because they do work up quite quickly. And this poncho, hooded poncho, works up quite quickly. So this is the Terridactyl. It is removable. You can machine wash it. You can machine dry it. And is he not cute? I think he's so adorable. And then you can just pop your hood on. These are removable. As I've said before, you just take them off. Throw them in the washing machine. That's what it looks like when it's off. Okay. Throw it in the washing machine. And then... Bring it back and pop it back on your your stuffed animal. The reason I started doing these is because, um, like, I love the concept and the idea of a lovey around a hair tie. Thank you very much, Z, from ZRJ3. And anybody who I talk about in this video, I will list their, um, I'll link their channel below. But <clears throat> I was doing a lovey around a hair tie. I had gotten it all done and I went to put it on the bear and what happened? The hair tie broke. So I have been coming up <clears throat> I have been coming up with alternative methods um, to creating and designing clothes for stuffed animals and teddy bears, etc. This is my um, my uh, poncho pattern and uh, I love it and I will continue on making these so this is one that I've done uh, the next one that I've done is the raccoon now the raccoon um, again this is yarn that was gifted to me um, 
can't exactly remember who gifted it to me. I believe this was gifted to me by... I think it might have been Kit, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, this is another um, loops, or not loops and threads, but soft and um, sh soft something or other. Um, let's see if I have the ball band for this one. Oh yeah, okay, this is this is Yarn Bee Glowing, and it's in the colorway Boat Ride. Yarn Bee Glowing. This is um, Loops and Threads Soft and Shiny, and this is a lot darker than it's depicting, because it should be like this dark, where my hand shadows. Um, this is um, Loops and Threads. Uh, soft and shiny and it, it, it is in the color um, Persian red and then I just tied everything in with his eyes which is eyes are gold his belly is gold so I've tied the gold in with the black and gold yarn so um, Yarn Re Glowing, Loops and Threads, Soft and Shiny, and Burnett Premium Yarn. So that is the second one that I've done. This is the third one that I've done. And actually, I'm going to show you this one later. I'm going to show you this one now. This one I had done already. Um, I actually had the Lovey Poncho without the hood. I had that done. Okay. Um, but, uh, the person that I did these last two items for, um, their, t uh, children, a brother and sister. Um, so my friend asked me, she says, okay, I can't give something to one and not the other. So this is what I've come up with. I've taken the hoodie off of there and this, the hoodie will, or the poncho will go, this poncho will go with the bear. Um. It's one that I've designed and crocheted up before. And this is around a hair tie. Um, like I said, I don't like hair ties. This is my teddy bear with poncho. Okay, a hooded poncho. Um, I have designed these. I will write out a pattern for these. And you can pretty much make it for any size. I did do a tutorial on the hooded poncho, um, but I can make it for any size. It's just a matter of figuring out how much, um, how many to chain, and then dividing that by four to get the four corners. If you're doing three corners, then you would be dividing it by a three. If there was 10 corners, 8 corners, 6 corners, you would divide that number evenly into um, whatever number you chained. So, um, this is the hood of poncho. This is the teddy bear. And I love this. Like I said, I can make this pattern pretty much for any type of animal. Big, small, whatever. Okay. I just have to do calculations if it's big. So this is for Colton, my, my friend's son, or uh, grandson. This will go with him as well. Um, and like I said, I love designing clothes for teddy bears. Don't ask me why. I do. And this last one is for my friend's granddaughter now this this here is the blossom yarn that's how it works up and i can't remember the name of it it's like pretty in pink or something like that this is loops and threads soft and shiny now this is supposed to be really dark it's a dark purple not bright like what's depicting on the camera 
Um, the teddy bear, you can, like I said, you can pull it down, you can take it off, you can throw it in the dryer, throw it in the washer, etc. And this is for my friend's granddaughter. I love him. Now, um, that is some of the finished objects I have done. I did ask my friend what her granddaughter liked um, in colors and she told me so I tried to make sure that it was similar to what she liked in colors so I'm just gonna kind of squish these in the box because they will fit So that's some of the things that I have been working on. Um, I started this one this morning. This is called a Kiwi. Uh, I did start this one this morning and I have already finished it. And this Kiwi is so stinking cute. I love him. You can wear his hood down and it's a stuffed animal and the kiwi ty kiwi ty um this is uh called kiwi i am kiwi like the fruit i look i lack a tail but i'm still cute and his birthday is march 4th um I have to check out that address. But this is the TY Beanie Boos that everybody is in raving about. Um, I will be making some more of these and posting these online for sale. So, that is what I've been up to. Like I said, the blanket that I'm working on, I cannot show you because, number one, it's not done yet. Number two, my friend... In Illinois, she actually watches YouTube, so I can't really show her the blanket. So, um, I will say this in all of my videos. When you find something on YouTube that you like to do or you're interested in doing, don't quit. Keep trying because eventually a light bulb will go off in your head and you'll be like, oh. That's how you do it. So don't quit. Keep trying. And you all have a great day, evening, weekend, wherever you may be. <laughs> you guessed it. It's coming up. Keep on hooking. And remember, off means objects finally finished. I will put that below or wherever you want me to put it. Objects are <sighs> objects finally finished, which is off, is objects finally finished. They're done, they're over. <music>